Hey gang, welcome back to another Vlogmas Day 17. Welcome back to another video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. So I wanted to do a fun video today. This is my first ever declutter. So yes, you guys, I wanted to just do a declutter going into 2024. I kind of just wanted to go through my collection and really just kind of like not minimize it, but really just have the stuff in the collection that like I really love and enjoy. And some of the stuff I feel like maybe I can gift off. So right now I'm going through my soap collection. So we have all of these hand soaps that I wanted to go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and de try to declutter some that I'm not a fan of and go ahead and give them to my mom and then whatever she doesn't want, we can gift them off. So let's go ahead and start off with this first one here. And this one is Island Papaya. So this one has scent notes of tropical coconut, fresh papaya and sugar cane. That one's good. I definitely smell that papaya, that sugar cane. But we'll go ahead. I think my mom loved that one. So we'll declutter that one and probably give that one to her. All right. The next one that we have here is Rose Water and Ivy. This one is Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kissed Ivy, and a Spring Musk. Scented with notes of Rose Water and Ivy. Yeah, that one's a little too floral for me, a little too musky. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. All right, the next one that we have here is Leather and Brandy. So this one is Warm Leather, Amber Woods, and Aged Brandy. Oh yeah, that one smells really, really good. I just love this scent. I've had it in the Wallflower. I've even tried it in... I think one other thing, but it's so good. So I will be keeping this one. All right, the next one that we have here is a Twisted Peppermint. Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, and Aromatic Balsam. I have to keep this one. Oh, it's, woo, it's just so strong every year. So yes, this one is definitely a keep. All right, the next one that we have here is Raspberry Tangerine. Wild Raspberry, Spash Tangerine, and Lemon Zest. I usually tend to love this scent. Oh yeah, I absolutely love that raspberry and that lemon zest together. It is so good. So Raspberry and Tangerine is a keeper. All right, next one we have here is White Oak and Vanilla. Sweet Vanilla Cream, White Oak and Warm Amber. Yeah, that one is just too good. I definitely smell that vanilla cream and that oakiness. So this one is a keep. All right, the next one that we have here is Blueberry Donut. So this one is Fresh Blueberry Warm Glazed Donut and a hint of cinnamon. Mmm, I love the blueberry scents at Bath & Body Works. So this one is definitely a keep. Definitely smell that fresh blueberries. That one was so good. All right, the next one that I have here is Autumn S'mores. I've always wanted to try this one. Crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and a cinnamon spice. Oh, this one is so good. I definitely get that gooey marshmallow. Yeah, this one is a weird one, but it's also a good one. It's like apple, marshmallow, and cinnamon. You don't think that those would mix well together, but it's actually a nice one. So we will be keeping Autumn S'mores. All right, the next one that we have here is Mango Mai Tai, which has mango nectar, sun-kissed, grapefruit, and sugarcane. I'm typically not a huge fan of mango. Yeah, this one's not that good. I just, it's just that mango nectar. It's just too like sweet maybe. So this one is going to be a declutter. So I'm putting the declutters in this Bath & Body Works box. So we are up to three right now, you guys. All right, the next one that we have here is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This one is Marshmallow Fluff, Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. Oh, it's so good. It's so like kind of bakery-like. You definitely get that vanilla bean, the marshmallow, the caramel. So that one is a keeper for sure. I don't think this one came out this year. Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. 
All right, the next one that I have here is a berry waffle cone. So I do have berry waffle cone, it looks like, in two different packagings here. So this one is sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Maybe we declutter one of them. Oh, it's so good though. The berries, the golden waffle cone. Yeah, it smells delicious. All right, so my favorite packaging though is like the cutesy little characters. So we'll be keeping this one and we will declutter this one. So we are up to four now. All right, let me get up here and grab the rest of these here. All right, the next one that I have here is white tea and sage, which is fresh tea, lemon, and herbs. Mm, yeah, not a fan of this one. I definitely get that tea and like a, it's like a tea and lemon, almost like the sweet tea and lemonade but not as sweet. So I'll go ahead and declutter that one. Not a huge fan of tea. All right, we have peach Prosecco macaron, which is peach Prosecco, vanilla cream, and macaron cookie. I haven't smelled this one in a while. It's okay, it's a little light. Um, We'll go ahead and keep it there just because I love that packaging. All right, we have a kitchen lemon, which is a keep. We got zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. Love that one in the kitchen. We have the black cherry Merlot, dark cherry, black raspberry, and Merlot. Love this one in bathrooms. And then we have another black cherry Merlot. This is just one I like to keep around for the downstairs bathroom in like the spring and the summertime. And then we have a strawberry pound cake, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Oh, I love the strawberry pound cake. I cannot wait to empty out this hand soap next springtime. And then the last one we have down here is a fresh getaway, which is bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. I like this one. I like the citrusy note. I like the freshness from it. So fresh getaway is going to be a keeper. All right. And then we have the raspberry jam. So this one is a sweet raspberry jam, fresh strawberries and vanilla cake crumbs. Oh yeah, this one is good. I love that sweet raspberry jam the strawberry. You definitely get that a little bit. And then the vanilla cake crumbs. So good, such a good foodie scent. So that one's a keep. And then we have a kitchen mandarin. This one is sparkling mandarin, a fresh thyme, and a cedar wood. This one is so good for like the kitchen. It just smells so fresh, so clean. Love this one. And then we have Love You Cherry Much, which is cherry frost, red cherry, fresh citrus, and frozen berries. Kind of sounds like a little bit similar to Firecracker Pop. And it kind of smells like Firecracker Pop a little bit. So love this packaging though, the little cherry next to the float. I have to keep this one. All right, and then we have Gingerbread Bakery here in the gel. And then we also have it here in the foaming hand soap. This one is a gingerbread cookie, brown sugar icing, and a cinnamon spice. Oh, it's so gourmand. Like this is like gingerbread cookies, bacon in the oven, sweet brown sugar. Love this one. So these will both be keeps. And you guys are gonna see a lot of foaming hand soaps compared to gel hand soaps. I prefer the uh, foaming ones just a little bit more than the uh, gel ones. All right, next up here, we have the fresh coconut and cotton which is Coconut, Coastal Breeze, and Beachside Cotton. Yeah, this one smells fresh again. I get, I get that Coastal Breeze. It kind of just smells like the ocean. It kind of just smells like you're laying on like a beach towel. So there is a fresh coconut and cotton. I will go ahead and keep one. Well, I don't know. We might declutter this one. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I'm not like, it's just not something that I'm loving right now. So we'll go ahead and declutter that one. And then we have some more gel hand soaps. We have a pink, what is this one? Pink tinsel petals. This one will definitely be a keep. It is jasmine petals, juniper berry, and vanilla bean. It's not like super strong, but I just love the packaging. I feel like it's such a good collectible soap. So love that one. We'll be keeping that one. And then the other one that I have here is Northern Brights, which is eucalyptus oil and pine extract. This one is super strong, super delicious. Oh yeah, I definitely get that pine, that eucalyptus. It's a good mixture of both of them. So I will be keeping that one. And then we have this collection that just came out this year. I think this might be all of them right here. So the first one that I have here is the Sugar Plum and Rose. Blackberry, Sweet Sugar Plum and Ice Rose. I love this scent. It's got like a lot of that blackberry and that sweet sugar plum, but the ice rose actually gives it like a good floral touch. It's not like too strong or too heavy in the floral. Love the packaging with the purple, the nutcracker. That one is a keep. And then we have the iced cinnamon rolls. I think I have a few of these, so I'm actually going to set this aside and see how many I have. I like this one. I just feel like the orange note just kind of takes away from the actual like nice gourmand gooey gooey cinnamon roll. So we have warm cinnamon rolls, a fresh orange and a sugar glaze. So we'll put this one to the side here and we'll see how many we have. And then in the same collection, I have a crushed candy cane. This one is a crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals and frosted mint leaves. Yeah, this one is good. You just need that like pepperminty candy cane type of scent laying around because you never know when you're gonna need it. So we'll keep that one. And then one of my favorite hand soaps this year, this is a cookie butter truffle. This one is cookie butter, whipped cream, and vanilla extract. I could have definitely had like five or 10 of these. Oh, it's so good. It smells like that. just nice fragrant cookie butter. You get that whipped cream, that vanilla. It's so like sweet, but it's not like too sweet. And I love the little stag reindeer up there. So we have two of those. We'll be keeping both of those. All right, next one that we have here is the Strawberry Snowflakes. Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream and Ice Bergamot. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep this one. It's a nice strawberries and cream type of scent. All right, and then we have the Wild Berry and Plum, which I figured out was a... Well, this one is a repackage of this one, Mojave Plum. So these two are the same. So I have a foaming hand soap and a gel hand soap. It is blueberry, peach nectar, and a touch of cinnamon. So wildberry plum and Mojave plum is the same hand soap. And I don't know, I thought this one was amazing until I smelled the foaming one again, the wildberry and plum. Yeah, I definitely preferred the foaming more than the gel, but I'll go ahead and keep both of these. I'm actually loving this scent. All right, the next one that we have here is such a good scent. I got this in the uh, Many Fine Fragrance Mist, and I'm so mad that I did not get more. And this is the White Coconut Caramel. We got Coconut Flakes, Toasted Hazelnut, and Caramel Swirl. Oh, it's so good. I definitely get that coconut. It smells like toasty, nutty. You definitely get caramel in here. So yeah, this one is definitely a good hand soap. I cannot wait to finish up my mini fine fragrance mist as well. So that one is a keep. And then we have Blueberry Bellini, which is Wild Blueberry, Bright Citrus, and Sparkling Prosecco. Yeah, this one is so, so good. I love that blueberry, that citrus together, and then you throw in some Prosecco, and that one is a winner for me, so we'll keep that one. And then we have Champagne Apple and Honey. So this one is Pink Lady Apple Sparkling Champagne in Autumn Woods. And I prefer this one more in the uh, body care. So we'll go ahead and declutter this one. I love this red packaging though. And then we have, it looks like some fall scents here. So we have pumpkin pecan waffles. If you love pumpkin pecan waffles, you know. This one is maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. This one can be a little too much for some people. 
Mm, it is so good though. You get that maple syrup, you get the pumpkin spice, the golden waffles. So good. This one is a keeper for sure. And then I have the coconut pumpkin latte. This one is coconut cream, whipped pumpkin, and warm praline. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep this one. It's definitely a little sweetness to it. I'm uh, definitely picking up on that praline. So we'll go ahead and keep this one. This one is the Life is Gourd packaging. And then we have the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, which is creamy pumpkin, toasted marshmallow, and warm praline. Is that the same one as this one? Creamy pumpkin, whipped pumpkin, warm praline, and warm praline, toasted marshmallow, coconut cream. Okay, they're a little different. Oh, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, you're so good. Mmm, that marshmallow mixed with that creamy pumpkin, mixed with that praline. These might actually be two good hand soaps to mix together here. So one is marshmallow pumpkin latte and one is coconut pumpkin latte. So those sound so good. We'll be keeping those. And then I have one I just picked up recently. This is Forever Autumn. This is a pumpkin cupcake with the little bunny there. This one is baked pumpkin with vanilla frosting and golden honey. Oh yeah, this one is definitely a keep. I definitely get that vanilla frosting, that little uh, baked pumpkin, golden honey. Love that one. One of my favorite hand soaps, we have winter, spice orange, fur balsam, and clove buds. Uh, it's just so fresh, so cold. I definitely get the uh, spiced orange, that balsam. It's not like too strong on the balsam or the clove, but you definitely can smell them. Just a nice, fresh, wintry scent. I love this one. And then we have Winterberry Ice, which is ice cherries, juicy orange, and a snowy lime. Yeah, I like this one. I really like anything that has cherry in it. I definitely am getting that uh, cherry, that orange, that lime. Really, really fruity, so we'll keep that one. We have Marshmallow Fireside, Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, and a Fire Roasted Vanilla. Mmm, this one is good. It smells like a toasted marshmallow by the fire with some vanilla. Love this one. Next one we have here is Tis the Season, Red Apple, Ground Cinnamon, and Clove. Ooh, yeah, this one is a no for me. I have used a little bit of it, but we'll go ahead and declutter this one. I'm never going to use this again. It's not my favorite scent, so we will declutter that one. All right, and then I have the Pretty Sweet Marshmallow Flurries. Warm Marshmallow, Fresh Lavender, and Smoked Woods. I like this one. I'm definitely picking up on that Marshmallow. That lavender is definitely there. So yes, love this one. We'll go ahead and keep that one. Next one that I have here is a frosted coconut snowball. We have creamy coconut, whipped vanilla, and sugar crystals. Smells just like the body care. Yeah, this one is definitely a keep. I feel like this is such a good, like, spring bakery type of scent. I don't know. It's just that something about that coconut and the sugar crystals with the whipped vanilla. It just smells like such a good scent for, like, the springtime if you're looking for, like, a bakery scent. And then we have the pumpkin cupcake in another packaging. I love a pumpkin cupcake, though, so we'll definitely keep that one as well. And then we have a farmhouse a pumpkin and a spice. Heirloom pumpkin, patchouli, and fall spices. We love this one. I had this in the kitchen last month. Mmm, it's so fall-like. It's so spicy. I'm definitely picking up on, like, some clove. Yeah, there's definitely clove, cinnamon, and stuff, stuff like that. The fall spices. I'm definitely getting that patchouli. So we love this one. We used almost half of it last month. So we'll be keeping that one. And then I have another strawberry pound cake, fresh strawberry, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. We can go ahead and gift this one off since I have another one. And strawberry pound cake is always around, you guys. All right, now we have, let's go through these two right here. This is Tis the Season and a Fresh Balsam. 
I will be keeping these because they did come out of like a little gift packaging and I just love this like red and this green. It's so like awesome looking. So we have a fresh balsam, which is woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus and cedar wood. It's like a good, nice Christmassy tree type of scent. So we'll be keeping both of these because I just love the packaging here. All right, the next one that I have here, let's go ahead and get into the Halloween soaps. We have Spellbinding Sweets, which smells exactly like Hubba Bubba or Bazooka Bubblegum. So we loved this one so much that we ended up getting three more this year for backups. This one, I gotta smell it. It just smells so good. Oh, yes. I cannot wait for that new pink bubblegum candle to come out. So that way I can pair them together. So we will be for sure keeping all three of these. All right, we have a Stardust Magic, Celestial Karma Swirl, Mystical Vanilla, and Secret Musk. Oh yeah, I'm definitely picking up on that vanilla, that secret musk, a little bit of that caramel swirl. So we'll be keeping this one. I'll be keeping all of my Halloween hand soaps. We have a sugared spell, sugared lemon, candy gumdrop, and the sweet musk. This one, I love this one. Oh, it's so good. I love my lemon scent. So that one's a keep for sure. And then we have one, two, three, four, it looks like four four of the vampire blood i do have two different style packagings here this one is so good i love the plum note in here yes i think it has strawberries it has red berries night blooming jasmine and a petrifying plum mm, it's so good it's such a good halloween scent it's such a good summer scent it's such a good spring scent so love Vampire Blood, we'll be keeping all three of those. And then I also have a Ghoul Friend and a Perfect Pumpkin. So Ghoul Friend is Dark Strawberry, Ghostly Peony, and a Spine Chilling Citrus. Yep, that one is a keep for sure. And then the Perfect Pumpkin, which is Carved Pumpkin, Spooky Cinnamon, and Moonlight Vanilla. I fell in love with this one this year, so we'll be keeping that one. So those are all of my Halloween hand soaps that we will be keeping. And then the other one that I had over here, it was the Red Cherry and Oud. Dark Red Cherries, Agave Drizzle, and Oud Wood. Yeah, again, anything with a cherry in it, I will definitely love. So I'll be keeping that one. And then we have... The Wild Berry Lemonade, this one is from the 2022 lineup. So this one is Old Fashioned Lemonade, Crushed Raspberries, and Frozen Cherries. Oh, I love this one. It's so strong. You definitely get that lemonade, the raspberry, the cherry. Yes, so good. So I'll be keeping that one. All right, and then that brings us to the Vault Soaps, which we will probably for sure be keeping so we have the BU Bubbly Rosé from Valentine's Day this year. Love that one. We have the Easter Soaps. We got Hip Hip Hooray, Some Bunny Loves You. So this one is a Cottontail Cake Pop. It's like the sprinkled birthday cake in a soap form. And then we have the Pink Apple Punch, which is crisp apple, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. And then we have the Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. This one is a sweet jelly bean, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. Mmm, I love a Tutti Fruity Candy. It's like my favorite in April. I have another version from 2022. Yeah, this is from 2022. So we got Happy Easter, Tutti Fruity Candy. We have Some Bunny Loves You, Sprinkled Donut. And then we have Hop To It, Pink Apple Punch again. So they love to do Pink Apple Punch during Easter time. Oh, this Sprinkled Donut is so good. It is buttercream, milk, and a sweet vanilla. Love this one. And then I have the Carnival Kettle Corn, which I just don't want to use this one because it is so much fun. Fun Fair Popcorn, Golden Vanilla, and Toffee Drizzle. Oh yeah, it just smells like caramely kettle corn. It is so good. I love this one. I love the packaging, the tie-dye. So that one is definitely in the vault. And then we also have the Sweet Tea and Lemonade. 
This one is definitely a popular one. Oh, another little tie-dye one. This one is rainbow cereal. So this one is a fruity cereal crunch and a splash of milk. Interesting. I love this one though. I love that like crunchy cereal fruitiness and that splash of milk. It does not smell like spoiled at all to me. So yeah, that one is definitely a favorite of mine. And then in the vault, we have a firecracker fizz. Love this packaging. That one is like a cherry citrusy kind of scent. And then one of my favorites this year, you guys, is the cherry almond shortbread. Which is vanilla shortbread, candied almond, and cherry. I so wish I'd grabbed 10 of these. These are like nowhere to be found now. Oh, it is so good. It has like this like essence of like Dr. Pepper at the end. Love this one. And then we have Chasing Fireflies, which is Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, and Illuminated Woods. I think this one's going to be great in the springtime. We have Luminous. Love Luminous. I, this one is Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. Oh, this one is so, like, luxury, sophisticated, such a good scent. And then we have the Love Always Wins from Pride this year. Golden Star Fruit, Fresh Coconut Water, and a Cedarwood Heart. I wasn't a huge fan of that scent this year. And then we also have the Wild Sand and the Endless Sea Hand Soaps. Love collecting these perfume hand soaps. And then it looks like we have more Halloween, you guys. So we have Vampire Blood, the Ghoul Friend. And these are all keeps, by the way. These are my vault soaps, ones that I just cannot get rid of. I can't come, I can't bring myself to use it. Eventually, one day we will, but... But right now, I'm just loving uh, collecting hand soaps right now with this, like, cute little packaging and amazing scent qualities. So we have Enchanted Candy Potion and a Perfect Pumpkin. I've already talked about uh, Perfect Pumpkin, but Enchanted Candy Potion is Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitched Berries, and Whipped Pixie Dust. I wish they would bring this one back. Definitely a nice kind of like candy berry type of scent. So love that one. We have another Vampire Blood. We have another Sugar Spell. This one is empty, but I just love this packaging so much that I, I put... Where is it at? So I usually will take this packaging and I'll put the soap from here and I'll put it in here just because I love this packaging so much. So these are all keeps. We have Perfect Pumpkin from this year. Ghoul Friend from this year. Spellbinding Sweets. Another Vampire Blood. We have Moonlit Graveyard. This one was Tombstone Moss, Cold Foggy Air, and Eerie Incense. This one was so, like, unique, so new. This one has, like, a incense kind of vibe, a nice smokiness. Such a good, unique scent here. Love that one. And then we have the Wicked Vanilla Wood, Magical Vanilla Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I have to keep it since it is Halloween. And then we have Coco Paradise, Among the Clouds, this one is a berries and vanilla. Love this one. This one is a nice kind of warm, sugary, salty, tropical scent. We have Gingham Gorgeous, which is strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. Love that one. We have Gingham Fresh, which I'm not a huge fan of. Juicy pear, sparkling clementine, and fresh daisies. Yeah, the it's just too floral for me, too fresh for me. Not a huge fan of that one. And then we have My Baby, Dream Bright, Sapphire Berries, and Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. Oh, it is so good. I cannot bring myself to use any more of it in case it never comes back. And then we have a Champagne Toast. And the faceted, this is Bubbly Champagne, a Sparkling Berries, and Juicy Tangerine. We can go ahead and declutter this one. So yes, this one is out of the collection, you guys. We have Into the Night. This one is Sugar Raspberry, Velvet Rose Petal, and Creamy Musk. Yes, we have to keep Into the Night. And then, you guys, from the 25th anniversary, this is the Cucumber Melon. It has a crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, and a juicy cantaloupe. 
Ooh, not a huge fan of this scent. It doesn't like smell too bad in the hand soap, but yes, yeah, the 25th year anniversary. And then it looks like we have another Chasing Fireflies. We have a Love Winds Rainbow Waves. I believe that one's from last year. It's a nice sunny sangria, melony, aquatic type of scent. And then we have Coffee and Whiskey, Bold Irish Whiskey, Splash of Vanilla, and Hint of Coffee. So good in the hand soap, the candle, the body care. Love that one. And then it looks like we have three men's hand soaps here. So we have After Dark, which is a Spice Bergamot Amber and Smooth Tonka. Love After Dark. It is such a nice manly scent, but it's not like a typical cologne. It has like some sophistication to it. We have Mahogany Teakwood, which is Mahogany Black Teakwood and Lavender. Love this one. It's such a good manly scent. You definitely get a touch of that lavender. You get a lot of that mahogany and that teak wood. And then we have Atlantic. We have Coastal Citrus, Sea Mist, and Clean Woods. I got this at the outlet along with the mahogany, um, teak wood, and the After Dark. This one, mm, I have to keep it just because of the packaging and it is a men's hand soap, but I don't know. We'll have to try it. Maybe I don't think I'm a huge fan of that one. All right, then last ones here, we have some gel soap. So we have two of the Moonlit Graveyards in case that never comes back. And it looks like we have a third one. And it looks like we have a fourth one. So we ended up getting four of those this year. So those can make great gifts. If they uh, end up coming back, we can gift these off. And then we have a Vampire Blood, a Ghoul Friend. We have a Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. So these are all the gel hand soaps that are in my vault right now. We have the Lemon Cello. I'm actually going to pull that one out of the vault because I want to use that coming up here in my summer, use it up. And we have the Sweet Tea and Lemonade. Look at this yellow packaging, you guys. Craziness. We have Toasted Honeycomb, Wild Honey, Almond Milk, and Marshmallow. Mmm, it's so sweet. I definitely get that honey, that almond, that nuttiness, that marshmallow. I accidentally popped my top, you guys. Ah! So we're going to use that one day. And then I have the pumpkin pecan waffles. It smelled so good. I just had to get it in the gel. Mmm, it's so strong. If you love, like, if you really want, like, a nice, strong foodie candle, you got to try out pumpkin pecan waffles next year. So good. You might be able to find it at semi-annual sale. All right, you guys. So it looks like we have another Mojave Plum. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. Wow, I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do, you guys. Oh my goodness. This one is a peppermint sugar cookie. This one is a keeper for sure. We have crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and a soft sugar cookies. Oh, it is so good. I love that crushed peppermint. You definitely get like a sugar cookie type of smell. So yeah, this one is definitely a keep. All right, we did good. We decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven soaps. Yay! So we decluttered Tis the Season, a Strawberry Pound Cake, a Champagne Toast, Champagne Apple and Honey, Fresh Coconut and Cotton, White Tea and Sage, Island Papaya, the Rose Water and Ivy, Mango Mai Tai, the Berry Waffle Cone and the Ferris Wheel Packaging, and a Mojave Plum. Yes! So I'm going to go ahead and give my mom these hand soaps. Whichever ones that she doesn't like, we'll go ahead and gift off or give away to friends and family. But I'm sure she will have no qualms going ahead and collecting all of these for herself. So thank you guys so much for being here on Vlogmas Day 17. I hope you guys enjoyed this little declutter video. My first ever declutter video. Woohoo! So now we got to go ahead and put all the hand soaps back on this empty shelf here. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Happy Sunday, everybody. So I just wanted to hop on here and do a little declutter, try to get a good start to my 2024 here. So I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.